Where was my first kiss? <laughs> my first kiss was in a movie theater. During the movie Just Friends, the Ryan Reynolds film. It was a date, but my mom made me take my stepbrother with me. He was sitting kind of close by. And I quickly just blocked him out. <laughs> I'd never really been on a date before, uh, so that was a lot of firsts. The way that Elvis came into my life was a month before I heard Baz was making the film, I had a friend who told me twice that I should play Elvis. And we were going to look at Christmas lights, and I was singing along to an Elvis song, Blue Christmas. I just kind of brushed it off. And then a couple weeks later, the same friend said, I'm, I'm serious, you got to figure out how you can get the rights to maybe write an Elvis script or something. Once again, it just seemed so far-fetched, so I, I kind of pushed it to the side. I got a call a couple days later that Baz Luhrmann was making an Elvis film. And so what I did was I just treated it like I had the job. I started researching. I hired a movement coach and a dialect coach and an acting coach and a singing coach. And I tried to film myself one day with this song, Love Me Tender. But when I did it, I just saw myself doing all the external things. You know, trying to make my face look like Elvis and doing all the mannerisms, and I just saw sort of an impersonation, and I, I thought, I can't send that. I learned this fact about Elvis, which is that his mother passed away when he was 23, and that's how old I was when, when my mom passed away. That really hit me, because it's such a human emotion. I ended up having this, this nightmare that my mother was alive, but she was passing away again, and, and I woke up from that and I just had all this emotion stirring in me, and, and I, I thought, you know, Elvis would put this in a song. What if I just take everything that I'm feeling right now and I just put it into a song? And the first song that came to my mind was one that I had always seen as a romantic song, which is Unchained Melody. I thought, what if I just sit down at the piano right now and sing this to my mom? I'd just woken up and I, I was in a bathrobe and I, I sat down at the piano and I set up a camera and I just started playing and let all of my grief come out into that moment. So I sent that to Baz and he said, I want you to fly to New York and meet me. Uh, I kept a couple things from the set. I kept one of the 68 leather jumpsuits. That's the black leather that he wears in 68 special. And he had times where he, he would rip them, you know? He'd bust the seat of the pants. And that did happen to me a couple times. <laughs> if you get the fabric right, so they would kind of adjust the fabric, you actually feel like a superhero. Yeah, the rings, they're heavy on your hands. It's amazing how clothing does that. Clothing and jewelry, it changes the way you move. If you have rings over every finger, your hands are heavier, and so you move your hands differently. Have you always been a good dancer? No. <laughs> I never was a dancer before. I was always sort of a, a wallflower at a party. I wouldn't be on the dance floor. It was my cinematic crush. I had a crush on Topanga from, is it Saved by the Bell? Oh, Topanga from Boy Meets World. Not Saved by the Bell. Okay. Yeah, Topanga. <laughs> that was a big one for me. Yeah, I watched that a lot as a kid. I feel like that's the first time I remember having a crush. I do get starstruck. It doesn't happen often. I felt really starstruck by Daniel Day-Lewis. I was in the same room with him once and I couldn't even talk to him. I kept thinking, I want to go tell him how much he means to me, but I, I won't be able to uh, get the words out right, you know? Uh, so I ended up not even saying hello. I'm a Leo. I don't know much about star signs, but I, I know Leos are a fire sign. <laughs> There's a lot of qualities of a lion, which I often resonate with. When I'm relaxing, I'm very relaxed and I'm very low key. You know, when I was in Africa and I would see lions, they'd sleep most of the day. And then when they hunt or when they exert energy, they let out a lot of it. So I feel like I oscillate back and forth in that, in that similar way. They are both shy and like attention. Yeah, that's exactly me. <laughs>